All right, in this video, I'm going to show you two things. I'm going to show you how to store a variable so that you can carry it from one screen to the next. And I'm also going to show you this really cool feature called join. Um, so first of all, on screen one, I just have two things. I have a label, my current score is, and a button. And then on screen two, I just have a label. All right, so on screen one, I'm going to show you the blocks. So first things first, we need to, we're going to create a different kind of variable this time. I'm going to throw that away. That was from my last video that apparently froze. So let's fix it. Um, so here we're going to initialize a variable, but instead of it being an app variable, meaning it's only good for one page, I want it to be stored. And this one is going to keep track of my score. So this is going to be a scored variable or a stored variable called score. This will keep track of my score on this page and allow it to be used on the second page. Okay, so when the screen opens, I'm going to set my stored score to be zero. And I'm going to change my score label. I'm going to change the text. And here's the cool thing. There's this really nice option in text. It's called join. So what that lets you do is combine two things together. So the two things I'm going to combine together and say your current score is. And then what I'm going to put here is their current score, which is stored score. So the variable stored score. Okay, let's let's run it and see. So this should put these two together in one label instead of having to put two labels side by side. So if I go to the design and I press preview, there's my current score. It's zero. That's kind of cool. It just puts it all in one label instead of having to make two. Okay, the other thing now, every time the button is clicked, we're going to add one to the score. So I'm going to, when the button is clicked, I'm going to set my stored score and I'm going to get some math and I'm going to say add one to my stored score. Now if the score reaches three, I'll go to the next page. So I'll just click here. If we need an equals, so if the stored score I'm just going to say three just to make it easy on us is three. Then we'll navigate to screen two. Okay, so that's creating the variable. Now let's go use it on screen two. So when screen two opens, I want this label that I created to, oops, I want this label that I created to have the current score. And I'm going to join. Your final score was. And then here I'll put the stored score. All right, let's go give it a try. Oops, wrong score, wrong page. Now let's try. All right, current score is zero. If we click the button, oh, I forgot to update the label. So after we add one, let's update the label. So I'm going to just duplicate this. Otherwise, it's not going to keep track for us. So after I add one, then I'll update the label to be the new stored score. Okay, now let's try. There's one, two, and when it hits three, it should go to the second screen. <laughs> it didn't go to the second screen. Oh, because I said zero. I forgot to make it three. Sorry. You guys all probably knew that. Now let's try. Third time's the charm. One, two, when it's three, it goes and then says your final score was three. Sorry that took so long.